For billions of years, Earth has been on a perilous journey through space. As our planet spins around the Sun, the whole solar system undertakes a far grander voyage. While Earth revolves around the Sun at a speed of about 30 km per second, the entire solar system is orbiting the Milky Way galaxy at a speed of about 220 km per second, bringing with it the planets, asteroids and other objects in our solar system. Despite moving at such high speed, our solar system takes approximately 230 million years to complete a single revolution around the galaxy. The last time our planet was in this position, dinosaurs were just emerging and mammals were yet to evolve. One complete orbit of the Sun around the galaxy is called a galactic year. Since the Sun and the Earth first formed, about 20 galactic years have passed. We have been around the galaxy 20 times. On the other hand, in all of recorded human history, we have barely moved in our long path around the Milky Way. The Milky Way is about 100,000 light years in diameter and our Sun is located roughly halfway to the edge at a distance of about 26,000 light years from the center. The characteristic spiral arms of the galaxy are waves of higher density regions where stars and gas are a little closer together than elsewhere in our galaxy's disk. These arms are also spinning around the galaxy's center, however, our Sun is moving faster than them, meaning it is surfing in and out of the spiral arms over time. Apart from the main spiral arms, there are a number of fragments of arms called spurs. The Sun is currently located in the Orion Spur that extends outward from the Sagittarius arm. As the solar system moves into a spiral arm, interaction between the Oort cloud and the denser material of the spiral arms could send more icy material from the Oort cloud hurling towards Earth. Comets ejected from the Oort cloud arrive with much more energy than the rocky bodies of the asteroid belt. It is also worth noting that the Sun doesn't appear to trace a flat circle in one plane only, as it moves around the galaxy. The Sun actually appears to bob up and down dozens of light years through the mid-plane of the galaxy's disk. Right now, we are still on our way up. The cycle takes about 60 or so million years to complete once. While we have talked about the motion of the solar system, the galaxy as a whole is also moving through space like all other galaxies. The Milky Way and Andromeda galaxy, our closest large neighbor, are moving towards each other at a speed of about 110 km per second and they will collide with each other in about 5 billion years. While the arms of the Milky Way will surely be ribbed up by this process, individual stars are relatively safe as the spaces between them are quite large. But by that time, our Sun will be a red giant engulfing Mercury, Venus and Earth as it grows to a diameter as large as Earth's current orbit. The Milky Way galaxy is also part of a larger group of galaxies known as the Local Group. The Local Group is itself part of the larger Virgo supercluster, which is a massive structure containing thousands of galaxies. The Virgo supercluster is moving towards a mysterious region called the Great Attractor. The Great Attractor is located in an area of space that is blocked from view by the stars and gas of the Milky Way. It is the central gravitational point of our local area of the universe. However, the expansion of the universe will eventually rip us all apart from the cluster's influence, as is the fate of the other superclusters out there. That's all for this video, like and subscribe to the channel and see you in the next one.